the Parliamentary Finance Committee confirmed, today, Thursday, the existence of a parliamentary move to withdraw the hand of the Governor of the Central Bank, while specifying the main reason behind that. Finance Committee member Mohamed Nouri told Sumaria News, We submitted a set of oral and parliamentary questions regarding the withdrawal of the Central Bank Governor Ali Mohsen Al Alak for exceeding the legal age. Nori pointed out that so far, things have not gone as we wish, and in the coming days we may go to the federal court to challenge the legality of the age of the central bank governor and request his direct dismissal through the legal age. At the beginning of last year, Al Sudani reappointed Al Alak as head of the central bank, nearly two years after he was dismissed from his post, amid questions about the feasibility of reappointing him as he had caused several financial failures over the previous six years between 2014 and 2020 of his management of the financial institution, according to his critics. There is much criticism directed at the performance of the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, Ali Al-Alak, who is facing increasing pressure regarding his financial policies and his management of foreign exchange and reserves in addition to his failure to control the file of dollar price fluctuations, according to economic experts. Today, Thursday, the head of the popular movement's organizing body, Hussein Ali al karawi accused the government of lying to the Iraqi people about the foreign presence in Iraq. al karawi told al Malama agency that the government is not implementing its governmental program regarding the withdrawal of foreign forces, especially the American forces, from Iraq, calling for its commitment to implementing the decision to withdraw all foreign forces from the country. He added, al Sudani's government pledged to remove foreign forces from Iraq, but it is failing to fulfill its pledges. He pointed out that the recent landing operations carried out by American forces in the Anbar Desert refutes the claims of the government its Prime Minister and its Foreign Minister that there are no combat forces.